Hey everyone! Thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel in the new year. So today I wanted to talk about culture shock. So I've heard so many people talk about like you have culture shock when you leave, when you come to Japan. And then when you go back to your home country, whether it's America, New Zealand, England, anywhere, that you also have reverse culture shock going back. Now, I didn't move back to America, but I haven't been back to America in three and a half years. So, um, it was our first time to go back. We've been to um, all over Japan traveling a lot, and then we've also gone to South Korea a few times, but we haven't actually like left the country and gone back to America. So I made a list so I'd remember while I was in America, like the things that surprised me and shocked me because we were there for 21 days. So it's a long time. So obviously the first thing that I was looking forward to was obviously central heat because it's winter time. So we actually stayed in Tennessee and the first day we got there, it started to snow. I was like, whoa, it's snowing because where I live in Japan down in Kyushu, we get snow like maybe in February if we get snow at all um, for the year. So it's not like a big thing to have snow during like Christmas time or anything like that. So the central heat was like, of course, amazing because it's like, wow, I can use the toilet and I don't need to worry about heated toilet seats or the furry covers that go on your toilet so you don't freeze your bum when you sit down. Um, getting in and out of the shower, you're not crying because it's so cold in your place. Um, running through your Genkan in your hallway and there's no heat and you're freezing and you're like, why didn't I put my slippers on? Um, and having to wear two layers of socks because you can feel the hardwood floor through one pair of socks. So that obviously was pretty nice, um, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The only room in my mother's house in Tennessee that was cold, that felt like my Japanese apartment, was her laundry room. It has no insulation. Um, and it literally, it, it was like a, it has like, I felt like it was a concrete walls or something. But like every time I walked in there, I was like, oh, I feel like I'm back at home. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, so anyways, that was one thing. The other thing was like the first few days we were there, um, my mother took me to go grocery shopping. Every time she would like drive and we'd be on a road and then she'd pull out to go to the, you know, to turn onto an, another road. I'm like, um, okay, never mind. And she's like, what? I'm like, ah, oh, I keep thinking you're driving down the wrong side of the road. I'm like, so, because I've been here for so long in Japan that I'm just used to seeing people drive on <clears throat> this left side of the road, not the right side of the road anymore. It took me at least a good week to get used to it. And I didn't even drive at all while I was in America. I had this bad feeling it was going to be like my driver's test in Japan. And I was going to drive down the wrong side of the road and be like, ah. Oh, so yeah, I didn't actually do that. Um, so some of the things we realized that now I have a seven-year-old, a five-year-old, and now like a three-month-old baby. But um, some of the things we noticed about culture shock that the kids noticed is like automatic paper dispenser. They went into the bathroom and I think it was my mom or my stepmom was like, have your kids never seen an automatic paper dispenser? And I'm like, I don't know, I don't think, maybe. I mean, obviously when we lived in America, they had seen them, but I'm thinking about it and I'm like, when in Japan we have like the Dyson hand fans you stick your hands into uh, to dry your hands, or you use your handy dandy um, little cloth to dry your hands that you carry in your purse, or you use your pants or t-shirt. Um, sometimes they just have the disposable paper towels. <coughs> Sorry. But I really don't see automatic like paper dispensers that often. I mean, maybe they have them in like the big cities or something, but I don't really see them. Another strange thing um, is a pizza cutter, just like the circular pizza cutters. Um, I'm sure we have those in Japan. I'm pretty sure we do. I just don't have one. I don't have the space for one in my tiny kitchen. Um, usually I have one drawer in my kitchen and when I had a huge kitchen in the seven bedroom house I just moved from, I had two tiny drawers to pull out. So, uh, I mean, it doesn't matter if I have a big kitchen or a little kitchen, there's just no, um, space. So if there are pizza cutters, I surely don't have one. I just use a knife and a fork. So, and the funny thing was, is we went to the hotel and my son was like, 
they have one of these things here too, like Mima's house. And I'm like, yeah, that's a pizza cutter. <laughs> but yeah, so he thought that was pretty interesting that my mother had one and the hotel had one in our room. Another funny thing um, is the glass candles that we have in America or other countries and everything, just like they're clear. It looks like a glass cup. My mother had one on the counter, a glass cup, and the ca the candle was all the way down to the very bottom, and it was like light blue. So when it's sitting on the counter, my son looks at it, and he's like, Mom, why did you put blue juice in my cup? And I'm like, what? Now, mind you, we're jet lagged, so we're eating breakfast at 3 o'clock in the morning in Amer on American time. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, this, my cup, you put blue juice in it. And I'm like... What? So I grabbed the glass. I look and I'm like, no, honey, this is not a cup. It's a candle. My son's like, what's a candle? And then I realized, I'm like, wait a second. What's one thing I do not have in Japan? A candle. I've never had a candle in any of my apartments I've lived in or the houses that I've lived in in Japan. Now in America, if this is my house in Florida, I've got a few totes and totes and totes of candles. I love candles. Uh, sconces, all that kind of stuff. Like, I love that stuff. So I reached out to my coworker in Japan and I was like, hey, do we have like candles in Japan? And she's like, you know, I was just talking about that with another coworker. I think she's talking to a Japanese uh, teacher. And she was like, yeah, we don't really see candles. My husband's like, why would you want to have a candle when you live in a wooden house? Point taken. All right, that's a good one. <clears throat> yeah, so stay tuned and thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. All right, have a great day. Bye.